All right, what's up, everybody? Um, today is a typical Fed day. You know, a lot of um, a morning session full of um, choppy volatility. Um, you see, uh, you know, we basically we traded in this range in the morning, um, like around I think it was before ten o'clock. I drew these lines right here, just you know, uh, guesstimating the range. Actually, before we popped out of there, so. When the chart looked like that, um, not even you know, pretty much like that. When you know, when we're at this uh, at this time right here, I went ahead and drew the drew, uh, drew these lines. Um, you know, guess the, I I I noticed that we were you know looking like we were going to start trading in a range today, and I went ahead and, and pretty much just um, drew out uh, the range what that I saw at the moment. Um, I figured we, you know, we could trade outside of those, but still stay range bound. So, and you know, basically that's what we did. It opened up a little bit. Um, then we had a range like between this area here. This is where I would, you know, this is where I would put it. Um, so, with all that being said, with it being a Fed day and all of that good stuff, I didn't. Um, I wasn't too eager to, you know, take any live trades in the morning session. Um, you know, usually I like to wait until that the, the the release of the Fed news to, you know, take any trades in the live trades. So I, I did, but I did end up uh, paper trading it. So here's the results of my uh, my paper trade. I actually ended up doing really good. Um, now I didn't completely stick to my my uh, strategy 100%. You know, I was kind of looking at price action as well, and um, I ended up getting some really good trades. Um, so I ended up with a uh, 590. So you know, it, um, so yeah, I could have traded it live, but you know, I'll be waiting for uh, 1400 to um, it's 2 p.m. to look at uh, taking any live trades. After that, you know, if if I get if I see any, you know, the good price action that we typically see typically see at that time, then I'll go ahead and. Uh, Uh, look to take a trade at uh, then. So I'm um, right now. Uh, and actually, I took a trade since we're here. I took a trade at uh, one trade in TS uh, Trader. I took one uh, on NQ. It just ended up being a scalp. Um, that was in this area right here. Once we we traded down, kind of broke out of that range that we were trading in. And when it turned over, um, I got in a little bit late, but I was still able to catch a, a scalp. And you know, boy, it came down, and now we got a uh, decent run here. Um, which my strategy only would have, since it was still kind of choppy before we it popped here, I still would have only ended up with a scalp. So overall, you know, not a you know not a bad day at all. Um, it's a pretty good price action for uh, for what we've seen from uh, Fed days. But you know, um, I guess because of the you know the strong volatility. Since we have such a wide range on each candle, um, you know, it provides a lot of opportunity to, to take at least some small scalps um, on each uh, on each move. So, um, actually, look like I may have uh, stopped trading a little soon. Let's see what we got going on. So right now we, we kind of you know break into the book, um, break into the long side. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we, you know, if this turns around and we kind of come back um, and we kind of, you know, uh, trade back down into this range and chop around for a minute or maybe um, hang out and trade sideways up in this area for a while up until, you know, the 1400 um, on the daily. I can go ahead and remove these, these drawings here. Get rid of all of that. Find my toolbar. All right. So looking at the daily, I am expecting you know some kind of pullback to come. I don't know exactly when, of course, but um, what is this? Um, since you know we, we this is a really strong bullish move, and maybe. Um, 
with the Fed stuff going on today, maybe we roll over on that. Uh, but at some point, I, I, you know, I can definitely see us rolling over. I mentioned that yesterday. So, you know, we'll see how everything turns out in the afternoon. And if we, like I said before, if we, if there's, if, if I like the price action and everything and we see some good, uh, strong volatility come in after, you know, uh, the release of the news, then I'll be taking a trade then. And other than that, I'll get back at it tomorrow and I will see you guys then. Deuces.